Shabbat Shalom. It's good to see you all here. We're going to start this morning remembering some words from the psalmist. Mihai Shehafetz Hayim. Who is the man or who is the person who delights in life, who loves all his days to see goodness? And then during our service, we're going to be talking about words because we're beginning Devarim, the book about Moses' words to the people of Israel before we crossed into the land and he died. So who is the person who delights in life and sees to see goodness all his days? If that's you, then the Tzor Lashon Hamera. Keep your tongue from evil. Usvatecha midaber mirma and your lips from deceitful speech. But that's not enough. Words are never enough. Follow them with your actions. Sur meira va'ase tov. Do good and turn away from evil. Bakesh shalom v'rodfehu. Seek peace and pursue it. Seek it for yourself. Pursue it for others. Bringing in this day with light, the kindling of Shabbat candles, calling upon Carol, Rich, and Jennifer. I'm forgetting. Ad Say it again. Ariana. Ariana. Yes, I'm working on that. Ariana.
That's the hardest thing about Shabbat services, lighting up. There's the alternative. There you go. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kirishanu b'mitzvotav v'tivanu lehad legner shel Shabbat. Amen. Page 126. Please pray with me. I begin with a prayer of gratitude for all that is holy in my life. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew, no semantics, and no services, but I need them. Through prayer, I can sense my inner strength, my inner purpose my inner joy, my capacity to love. As I reach upward in prayer, I sense these qualities in my creator. To love God is to love each other, to work to make our lives better. To love God is to love the world God created and to work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy that illumine all of us and to bring that vision to life. We're going to join together and welcome the Sabbath Bride, L'Chadodi, page 138 and 39, verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. And on the last verse, as always, we'll rise and greet her as she comes in the door. Oh, 
40. Please join with me at the very bottom of a psalm for the Sabbath day in English, the last paragraph. The righteous bloom like a date palm. They thrive like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of Adonai, they flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they will produce fruit. They are full of sap and freshness, attesting that Adonai is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Page 144, if you are able, please rise for Hatsi Kaddish. Yit kadal ve yit kadash shame rabba Biyol ma di vera chirute Biyam lich malchute Behay echon uv yom echon Uv chaye dicho beit Yisrael Ba'agala, ba'agala, uvizman kahari, vimeru, amen. Yeheshme rabba mevarach, le'alam ulal me'alamaya, yitbarach, yitbarach, v'yishtabach, v'yitpa'ar, v'yitromam, v'yitnase, v'yitadar, v'yitaleh, v'yitalal, shamei dekudashah. Brihu la ehila min kobir hatava shirata tush be hatava ne hemata da mi hiran bi alama vimeru amen. Please remain standing, page 146.
Page 149. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and seasons glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch atah Adonai ha-ma'ariv aravim. Page 150. Ahavat olam beit Yisrael am ha 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 Torah o mitzvot o kimo mishpatim o tano lima deta. Al ken Adonai Eloheinu b'shoch beinu o bekumenu nasiach behukecha v'nismach b'divrei Toratecha. O va mitzvotecha le'olam va'ed. Ki hem hayenu ve'orech yamenu. O va hem negeh yomam va'layla. Be'avatecha al tasir mimenu le'olamim Baruch at Adonai Ohev amo Yisrael Please be seated and turn to page 154, and we join together the continuation of the Shema in the Torah with the words, V'yahavta et Adonai Elohecha uvechol nafshecha bechu v'chol b'na'u levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol me'odecha v'hayu ha'devarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alivavecha v'shinanta ham levanecha b'dibar tabam b'shivtecha b'veitecha uvalechtecha v'derech uvishoch becha uvekumecha ukeshar tam liot al yadecha v'hayulet totafot bein einecha. Uchetavtam al mezuzot beitecha uvihish arecha lema antis keru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kedoshim leilohechem ani Adonai elohechem. Asher hotze heiti et chem me eretz mitzrayim vihiot lachem leilohim ani Adonai Elohechem emet. 
אמת ואמונה, כל זאת בקיים עלינו כי הוא אדוני אלוהינו ואין זולתו. It is truly sure and plain as any of us can perceive that God has been part of our lives in the story of our history, gotten us through that from one conqueror to another, what is the, the essence of every Jewish holiday? They attacked us, we won, let's eat. We're here to celebrate because we've survived, and that's good reason. And yet, we so easily forget how we survived and fail to remember what we knew so immediately at the shores of the sea. Who is like you, O God, among those worshipped? Mika mocha ba'elim Adonai. ודא אדוני את יעקב וגאלו מיד חזק ממנו ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל. Let us pray together. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, ha-pore sukkat, shalom aleinu, ha-pore sukkat, Shalom aleinu ve'al kol ahamo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim ve'al kol ahamo Yisrael ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel May God spread your peace, your shelter over us, over all Israel, over Jerusalem, and over all the peoples of all lands. And let us say, Amen. Page 162. Yes, 
Israel, Ot Hile Olam, Ot Hile Olam, Beshameru Ene Israel, Ten Shabbat, Laasot E Hashabbat. Page 164, you'll find the beginning of our Tifila section where we stand before God as individuals. We'll begin together, and then we'll leave plenty of time for you to um, open your hearts to God as you need to. And when you're finished, um, please be seated. Rise as you are able. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi agite hilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu veimoteinu Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Le'ab, Elohe Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadin Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher Haste Avot, Vimahot, Ume Vigula, Livne Venehem, Lemaan shemo bi ahava, Melech ozer umoshia umagain baruch. Ata Adonai, Magen Abraham, the Ezrat Sarah. Ata gibor le olam Adonai, Mehaye ha kol atarab le hoshia, Morid ha tal, Michal kel ha in behesed, Mehaye ha kol. Berachamim rabim, so mech no flim, verofe holim, u matir asurim, u mekahayem emunato lishene afar, micha mocha baal givurot, o mido mehelach. Melech me meet, um me hae, um at me ak yeshu ah, when a man at a la hayo taco. Baruch ata adonai me hae ha col. Atakadosh, vishim hakadosh, ugodoshim behol yom ye hallelucha sela, baruch ata adonai ha el ha kadosh.
Say shalom, bim roma, who ya shalom aleinu, the alcohol Israel, the inneru. So this week's Torah portion begins the speeches, three speeches of Moses to our people, recounting everything that had happened and everything God had instructed us. Words starts out, Eila Hadvarim, Asher Diber Moshe, Lakola Dat Yisrael Be'ever Yardain. These are the words that Moses spoke to the entire community of Israel on the other side of the Jordan, by the Arava, at the steps of Moab. Words, 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 so many words. We're given so many words in Jewish tradition. And yet the words are what have strengthened us and kept us together. And we start out with the, the psalm this morning, or this evening, about how powerful words can be in terms of their destructive power. It says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceit. Make sure that you are doing good and not evil with the words that you utter. Because words have the power to destroy and tear down, especially reputations and good names, but it's very hard to use words to build them up again. I think that has a lot to do with a lot of the work the lawyers in our midst do. Is uh, the damage that words do to people's reputations. So there was a, uh, a great teacher of Judaism whose name was Rabbi Israel Mayer Kagan of Radin. He spent his whole life studying Lashon Hara, evil tongue, and how dangerous it is to use your words in evil ways. And he became known as the Hafez Chaim from that psalm, the one who desires life because he spent his whole life teaching us how to be careful with the use of our language. Now, words by themselves are never enough. We can say yes, yes to all those words that defined our behaviors that we heard at Mount Sinai, but just saying yes to them doesn't make our promises happen. Which is why God then said to us, Rod responded, he said, you have stayed long enough at this mountain, get going. Now, I think that you would recognize that as, let's say, the African-American way to express that would be, it's not enough to talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. And um, the greatest philosopher 
of Jewish life in the 20th century was Abraham Joshua Heschel. He marched with Martin Luther King at every opportunity. And when he was asked why he did that, he said, I'm praying with my feet. I think it was Sartre, but I'm not sure. One of the French existentialist philosophers was walking in Mont Saint-Michel and saw a sign down the street that said, hats fixed here. He goes, oh my gosh, I've wanted my hat. My hat has been a mess. It needs to be fixed. I finally, he walks in, he takes off his hat, he puts it down on the counter. He says, here. And they look at him behind the counter and say, yes? He says, can you fix it? He says, what, what do you mean? He says, can you fix my hat? He says, we don't, we don't fix hats. What do you mean you don't fix hats? Outside it says hats fixed here. And he said, oh, no, we don't fix hats. We just make signs. <laughs> so we have to be careful that we aren't just sign makers when we vocalize our values and how important they are to us, but that we follow up our words and our promises with our deeds. Now, I, I've been busy calling up congregants to see how they are, and I called up one of, my, one of our congregants who no longer lives on island, uh, Bob Israel, who used to own the Mafoli Hotel. And when I was here, his son Adam was here running it. I said, how is Adam? What's he doing? He said, Adam is in the Ukraine. Adam is busy figuring out ways to transport people who are refugees to safe places in and outside the country. Now that's not only praying with your feet, it's praying with your entire body. <laughs> that's impressive, Adam. Thank you for doing for us what we wish we could be doing with you. There was a uh, very famous itinerant preacher who was, had an engagement to, to give one of his talks in this synagogue in a town, a little shtetl that was known for the fervor of the people's prayer. And he was being ushered to the synagogue and he stopped before, he wouldn't go in. He said, Rabbi, come in, please. We're waiting. The people are all, they're packed in the synagogue. They're waiting to hear you. He said, I'm sorry. There's no room for me in there. He said, Rabbi, there's a special seat of honor for you in there. He said, I'm sorry, there's no room for me in there. That place is packed with prayers. Let those prayers go out into the world. Then there will be room for me in there. So I wonder how all those words of Torah were heard by our ancestors. Was it the actual words they heard? Or were the words what they imagined when they were met with the astonishment and the wonderment of being exposed to the revelation of God's presence? Was it that God said to Moses, don't boil a kid in its mother's milk? And Moses said, oh my gosh, what does that mean? That's amazing. It must, it must mean that you're never supposed to eat any milk with any meat. And God said, Moses, I said, don't boil a kid in its mother's milk. And Moses said, oh. It's so deep. It must mean you're supposed to have separate plates and pots and dishes and silverware for everything milk and everything meat. And God says, Moses, don't boil a kid in its mother's milk. And Moses said, oh my gosh, it's so deep. It must mean that you have to wait six hours after eating meat before you can eat any milk. And God said, okay, you win. <laughs> I don't know whether all the words of our Torah are from God. I don't believe they are. I believe that they are the words we heard when we experienced God's presence, which was far beyond what our own words could understand or articulate. And so sometimes you have to leave words behind and be with yourself, be quiet. You remember how Moses experienced God when he went, all right, Elijah, when he went back to, to Sinai, trying to find God, and, and the only place he could find God was not in the loud, crashing mountains and earthquakes and the lightning striking. It was in the kol de mama daka, 
usually translated as a still small voice. I think it's more like the thin sound of silence. Meditation is a wonderful way to meet God and understand God's, and to meet yourself. Being in nature, being creative in the arts, involving yourself in marathon running. There are so many ways that we can take the words out of our heads in order to be and connect and harmonize with the one and with ourselves and with the universe around. This is the prayer of Rabbi Nachman of Bratislav, who wandered in the wilderness and found his residence there.
I was reminded by Katina Culiano sitting over there that we used to do blessings of birthdays and anniversaries on first Fridays. And then I used to mention that in the car birthday cards that used to go out and we stopped sending out those birthday cards and anniversary cards. And I think it's time to start doing that again. We haven't done it even though this is a first Friday. I don't know if there's anyone here who has a birthday or anniversary who's present, is there? Yes, Maryland, of course. That's enough. And there may be on, on, on Zoom. Is there anyone on Zoom that has a birthday or an anniversary that's worshiping with us? Well, Marilyn, will you join me and open the ark? Marilyn, happy birthday. <laughs> we are rejoicing with you because, um, you know, I guess when we were youngest, when we were very young, we used to love birthdays to come by, and we would rejoice in every birthday. And as we get older, we don't look for our birthdays so much, but actually every birthday is even more of an opportunity to rejoice in life, and life becomes so much more precious, and we appreciate it so much more as the years go by. So I wish you a blessed birthday. Um, it was two days ago? Two days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. A blessed uh, birthday in which you grow in spirit, in imagination, because imagination comes directly from God. That you grow in love for this congregation that you lead, as you, I don't know if you can grow in love because you love us so much already, but, but that may that love enrich you in return. And may it not be a difficult presidency, but one that gives you joy and pleasure and make the bir this year from this birthday to the next the best year of your life. May God bless you this day and every day. May God's face shine upon you and make you a source of radiance and grace in this world. May God lift up God's divine face upon you and lift you up as you bring shalom within your own life and to those you touch. Thanks. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we might as well leave the ark open for Elena, but we're gonna pray for those who are ill and in need of God's healing. Um, I'm particularly calling to mind tonight, there's a, there are a lot of names on this list in the program. Um, and there are some that are not in this program that don't want to be mentioned, that I'm praying for those people that I know about, and I'm sure you are as well. And I'm especially thinking tonight about, um, about um, Arthur Pomerantz. No, he, yeah. He's very, very, very ill at this time, but I'm also thinking about his wife, who is certainly needs support, um, Barbara Pomerantz. I'm thinking about James Tunick. I'm thinking about Ivy Relnick, who's just lost her husband, Rabbi Relnick, and that she needs some healing and support from us. So there are other names you'd like to mention specifically tonight that you're thinking of here in the synagogue. Any more on, on Zoom that would like to be mentioned? Shana Lieberman. Saba Joseph Ronas. Tim McGaffick and Brenda Richardson and family. Okay. 
and certainly all the people on this list. Um, Marilyn Grishman, I want to give her a special, ask for her special prayers for her as well. May all of them receive the blessing of healing that they need, and each of them needs something differently from us, and may that blessing be theirs. And we sing Debbie Friedman's beautiful song for their healing and ours. Please turn in your seating room to page 587. It's the slightly different Alenu than we're used to. The same melody, different words. Alenu le Shabbat le Adon Hakol, Vatet Kidula le Otser Bereshit, Shehu Asan Susha Sam Halkenu le Achedet Shemo. Begor aleinu lihamlich malchuto, vanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech, malche hamelachim, hakadosh baruchu, shehun no te shamayim O Moshav Yikara Bashamayim Mima Al Ushechina Tuzo Ushechina Tuzo Big of Hemeromi Hu Eloheinu Ein Od Emet Malkeinu Efesulato Kakatu Vitorato Viadata Hayom Viadata Hayom Vihashevota Elevabecha ki Adonai hu ha Elohim basha hamayim mi maal vi al ha aretz vi al ha aretz mi tachat ein od vane emar vi haya Adonai la melech al kol ha aretz. Bayom hahu, Bayom hahu, Ye Adonai echad, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo echad. Thank you. Please be seated. I don't think we have too many announcements. And Marilyn asked me if I would deliver them. You sure you don't want to give them? I'll give them. Yeah.
Tisha B'Av. It's a iconoclastic Tisha B'Av. Very iconoclastic. We're doing everything we're not supposed to do. We're, we're not mourning. We're celebrating what we value about and what's worth passing on in Jewish life. And services this week in Israel. Thank you, Marilyn. And now before we conclude, we turn our thoughts from our earthly course to our loved ones who have entered eternity. We especially remember Rabbi Stanley Relkin tonight. I'll say a word about him in a moment. We remember all those whose yard sites we observe from our members and our past members, Abraham Mendes Belisario, Moses de Cardoza, Mary Cohen, Joseph Coriel Jr., Joseph Fidanke, Solomon Hay uh, Fidanke, Sarah Fonseca, Audrey Kessler, Alexander Levy, Leah Lobo, Solomon Melendez, Solomon Cohen Picciotto, Francis Rafael Picciotto, Jeremy Pinkerton, Nana Murine Piritz, Ruth Helen uh, Richweg Richwerger, Elizabeth Ringel, Michael Rosenberg, Gertrude Victoria Sigelkow, Aaron Wolf, and those observed yard sites of our high members, Eve, Eve um, Eisen, 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 I've got sweat in my eyes, um, Eisentine, Carl Back, Joe Bass, Sidney Bernstein, Edward Diskin, Hannah Fastlick, uh, Harry Feldman, Kurt Felsenberg, Bernard Furstenberg, Louis Friedman, Rose Gelber, Bernice Goldfarb, Dr. Irving Greenberg, Rhoda Heller, George Herman, Joseph Hunnigman, Dora Horowitz, Max Inhaber, Betsy Kamens, Florence Kaplan, Myrna Kaufman, Dorothy Kaner, Anne Kantner, jo um, Joyce Lawrence, Sala Locker, Dorothy Loeb, Beatrice London, Joan Linton, Karen Mallory, uh, Herman Mayo, Robert Miller, Betsy Mitchell, Ruby Orlin, Rubestino Ramos, Jonathan Redelheim, Stephen Rennell, um, Rennell uh, Robert Ryder, Max Ritter, Milton Rudo, Rosalind Rudo, Pauline Shapiro, Miriam Simon, Mildred Spector, Mark Stern, Barbara Wasserman, Bradley Woldo, Sarah Wolf. Uh, would anyone like to speak about any of those that they're remembering tonight for your site? Thank you, Carol. Anyone on Zoom would like to say anything about anyone they're remembering tonight? Yeah, we'd like to also give people an opportunity to say something about Rabbi Stanley Relkin, who was the rabbi here from 1975 till 1990, and was a very important part of this congregation's life and history. Um, would anyone like to speak a little bit about Rabbi Relkin? Tina? We can, we can grab this microphone from the pulpit here, from the, the lector. Yeah. Yeah, you can go in there, too. Come on up there. So this is Katina Katuliana speaking. Um, Rabbi Rokin came to the congregation 
sometime while I was in college. And um, so I would see him occasionally when I'd come back for a high holiday or vacations or something. And then um, when I came back, like in 1980, um, during that period, my Jewish activity was, was like, you know, at the bottom of, of the chapel of the college and it was a conservative service and different things like that. And when I was in graduate school, it was non-existent. Anyway, so I came back to the synagogue and at that point we had changed from the union prayer book, the little black book, to the um, gates of prayer. And I was like a little put off. And so um, I sort of told him this and he said, you know, let's go to lunch one day. So we went to lunch and uh, I can't tell you exactly what he said, but it was reassuring uh, to me and I didn't feel quite so dispossessed as I had when I first came down. And um, then some years later, um, not too many years later, I had my sons and um, particularly my older one, Lane, um, got very close to Rabbi Relkin. Um, he was, um, he was still a little boy when Rabbi Relkin left. I think he was about, let's see, about six or seven. But he was very close to him. And they kept up a little bit of, um, not correspondence, they kept in touch off and on all of these years. When Lane was planning to get married, he asked Rabbi Relkin if, if he would, uh, would be willing to do the ceremony, but the rabbi said no. But they still kept in touch. And then um, I think, uh, this is a conversation I had with Lane the other day. He said that um, he was speaking with uh, Rabbi Relkin about his son now, Harry, you know, when to start classes. I mean, Harry's about two years old this month, but, um, you know, how to bring up a child Jewishly and so forth and so on. And finally, Rabbi Relkin says, you just have to start and you just have to do it. <laughs> and I think that also applies to this congregation. If we all want to be together, we have to start and we have to do it and we have to be here. Thank you, Katina. Any other words or anyone on Zoom want to speak about Rabbi Relkin? I'd like to speak about Rabbi Relkin. He was the rabbi when I came to St. Thomas in 1981. And for me, he was a very special person then and now. Um, he was what you would think a rabbi is supposed to be. He was the rabbi for when my girls had their bat mitzvah. He was very much a part of our lives. And I would visit he and Ivy when I would go to Brooklyn or go to New York, and he will be missed. Thank you, Jackie. Marilyn? What everybody else said, but I am going to mention the fact that at the time that Rabbi Relkin was here, we had a religious school that had at least 20 people in it. And there used to be, somebody told me the photograph got damaged, but there was a photograph in the back and I'm gonna look to, is it still here? That, there, there was a photograph of all of the kids, over 20 of them sitting you know, together as, as part of the religious school. Yes, they were, they were sitting, Penny was saying, right out here. So when I mentioned this to my son, he of course had all the memories of Rabbi Relkin and being in religious school and being a part of, and, and then he bar mitzvahed and bat mitzvahed uh, a number, you know, so many of our kids. So he is definitely a, he's, he was an icon, he is definitely a part of the lives of the Judaism that we and our children grew up with here. So I just, my condolences to Ivy because I know that that was a very special relationship. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, those who are in mourning rise and we can all rise with them in support of them. As we say, Kaddish, page 598. 
יתקדל ויתקדש שמי רבה בעלמד דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי בחיי חון וביומי חון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קריב ויאמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך לעלם ולעלמי עלמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה בריכו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש פחתה ונחמתה דע אמירן ויעלמה ויאמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ויאמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ויאמרו אמן We're going to close with the singing of Yom Zeli Yisrael. It's, you have the sheets in your, in your uh, flyers, your handouts. This is the day of light and gladness for Israel. Yom Zeli Yisrael, Orah v'simcha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat minucha. Yom Zel Yisrael Ora V'Simcha Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Minucha Tzivit HaPikudim B'Ma'amad Sinai Shabbat Umoadim Lishmor B'Chol Shanai La'aroch L'Fanai Masek Ba'arucha Shabbat, Shabbat Minucha יום זה לישראל אורה ושמחה שבת 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 מנוחה יום זה לישראל אורה ושמחה שבת 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 מנוחה עמדת הלבבות לאומה שבורה לנפשות נכאבות נשמה יתרה מנפש יצרה יסיר אנחה שבת שבת מנוחה יום זה לישראל אורה ושמחה שבת 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 מנוחה יום זה לישראל אורה ושמחה שבת 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 מנוחה כי דשת ורחת אותו מכל ימים בששת גילית מלאכת עולמים בו מצאו עגומים השקט וביתך שבת שבת מנוחה שבת מנוחה, יום זה לישראל אורה ושמחה, שבת 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 מנוחה. Please rise and we bless each other and we forgot to announce Oneg at the deck of Lillingfeld. Please extend your hearts and your thoughts toward the people around you, toward the people you're thinking about who are not here. toward the people of Ukraine. Ose Shamaim Ba'aretz, God who is the one who creates the heavens above, help us to make a just and fruitful earth beneath. Shabbat Shalom.